Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. And let me see. Oh, I haven't done YouTube channel for a while, so welcome to the Three Musketeers. And this is William, my baby. Yeah. And Isaiah, he's taking a bath. So I'm hey. trying, to, trying to make a, a quick YouTube video today to teach you how to make baby bok choy. So baby Ew. bok choy is this one. See, it's the size of my palm. What about mine? Uh, let me try. Uh, show, show, camera. Yes. <laughs> so hey. what I do, I prepare um, my chop chop. <laughs> chop chop. So first of all, I, I wash them and I cut them and I separate them. The reason why I separate them is because this one cooks longer than this one. Oops, mm -hmm. the lead part. Let me wash that. I have my I have my wok ready and also I have garlic. cut some, mince some garlic. This is from a fresh whole garlic. And whole garlic that looks like this. Looks like an yes. onion. So I just took like a four pieces and just chop, chop, chop them with my um, my higher knife, my cleaver, but I call it my butcher higher. knife. Yeah, butcher knife. Butcher so I got the wok ready. Usually you can put it on high heat, but turn it down to like number seven or like medium high. And I'll show you. Pink. William. Mm. So let me show you. I I don't really measure my cooking, but it's about. This much, probably about two tablespoon. So now, sorry, it'll be a bit wobbly. Okay, we need natural Okay, and so once I throw in the the onion, and then I mean the garlic, sorry, and then it will be just really quick. So everything have to be fast. And I'm just gonna. I had to do it fast. Sorry. Spatula. So just kind of stir fry them. And I can put my pepper, a little bit of salt. I don't just use. We can use just salt and pepper, but I like to use a little bit of. Uh, Oyster sauce, if I'm not going to share my food. And so I put about, I start with one tablespoon of oyster sauce. If you don't want to use oyster sauce, you add in some water. You can also use um, fish sauce. Maybe I'm going to add a little bit of fish sauce. Just about a tablespoon to about a medium size portion. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little and put my garlic in it. Thank you, William. No, why not? I don't like spiders in the house, neither do flies. So while I'm going to cook it, let me show you. It's kind of, these are the color that if you want it a little crispy, and right now, before I put the uh, cover on, a lid on, not cover, I'll just put the rest of the leaves on. Oops. No, 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 William. I'm cooking here for you. So I'm just, sorry, I have to cook with one hand and the other hand holding camera. So this is a very immature, a mature way of um, video let me just try this way oh can you see me so I am just gonna do this let me add some more pepper I like stop I like my grinded pepper and salt because it's just kind of once you grind it out everything is just um, very freshly smell so this is my Sarawak pepper got this from my girlfriend in Kuching Lina. She's a 
uh, from Kuching and she sent some for me and it was all planted from her her farm very cool and now I will just keep stirring as you can see the colors kind of still nice and very beautiful fresh green but once it turned brown that's where it's almost done and if you want to make the sauce a little thicker you can add um, sorry. I have a very small kitchen so everything is just very compact so you can add with some of my chili, my sauces, so you can add some of this. I'll quickly show you how to make quick sauce. So with this amount, you don't really need so much of this. Uh, cornstarch. You can use regular flour if you don't have cornstarch at home. So I use about half a teaspoon. I'm gonna mix it with cold water because I don't want the sauce to be too thick this time. And you can do that and then while it's still cooking just pour it in. Let me put this away. And now I'm not sure if you can see it it's starting to just dance up and it's sticking so it has a little like texture that makes it nice and shiny that's what Chinese restaurant usually do and I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, sesame oil you can buy any kind of sesame oil but I have this one it smells you know not too strong probably about a teaspoon I don't measure I'm, cook I'm used to cooking that and turn off the heat my my way of tasting since we're just three of us I do that mm, very good and that's it turn off the heat and you're good so serve it you want to make it Put it like I have I like to use a lot of bowl at home. Plate will take too much space for a small tiny apartment. So I will just put it in a nice plate. You can see that? And because I have the fried red shallots, this one you can only find them in Asian store. But if you want to do this, it's a lot of work but it's um just shallots. It's another kind of um, onion family. So they fry it and it's really delicious. Like almost like a fried onion when Thanksgiving people use it to make green beans. But I would just put a little as a decoration. There you go baby bok choy stir fry version with oyster sauce once again you can use um, oyster sauce if you don't have oyster sauce you can use just salt and pepper and then or you can add with some fish sauce or you can add with um, some another kind of seasoning which i don't really use this or if you want to add some chili um, or you can add a little bit of oil soy sauce like soy sauce but I don't usually add with soy sauce because it's with this one or just salt and pepper it's just very easy pure taste there you go you see my nice delicious looking um, baby bok choy let me just show you what I'm going to sorry please excuse the sink I am going to turn on the And I'll do a little quick tasting of it. So, people would think Chinese people eat with chopstick all the time at home. Not for me and my family. I eat with anything, spoon only, fork. So, um, 
but some people will like to lose weight they will use chopstick because chopstick you have to like really grasp it I practice to learn how to use chopstick since I was about seven eight years old so to master this way to hold food uh, grab a food like the kung fu stuff you know it takes a while to practice I'm not perfect either but let's don't talk about chopsticks anymore let's try this okay mm. Mm, so good see with the shallots it's really good mm. Mm, mm. my boys are trying it so if you like our channel hit the subscribe button thumbs up if you like us and i will try to do more videos once in a while hit the notification bell to get no to get um notified, notified for any video, new updated videos hope you enjoy bye from the three musketeers <laughs>